Right, on to the questions. What impact do you think inflation will have on your investment company and how are you protecting shareholders from inflation? And I'm going to ask that question to Charlotte. Thanks, Annabelle. I think most importantly, we're, we're looking to preserve capital. So we are looking to keep up with inflation and ultimately exceed it over the long run. Um, and so for us, it's just part of the mandate is that that real capital protection angle. And to do that, uh, we're invested in index linked bonds and we're invested in gold index linked, clearly being um, inflation protected and, and correlated their prices inversely with uh, real yields, gold being that currency that's been around for millennia, but which ultimately central banks can't print more of, they can't devalue it. Great. And Ben, what impact do you think inflation will have on your company and how are you protecting shareholders? Well, it's very much a, a balance, I think, in terms of uh, trying to invest in high quality companies that can prove to be resilient, whether we're operating in tougher times or, or more inflationary times. Uh, hoping to uh, participate uh, if there is uh, higher levels of nominal growth. Hopefully that's going to drive uh, higher levels of revenue, profit, cash flow, and ultimately dividends for us as investors. So that's really, I think, the, the important part that we will do. We'll select those high quality businesses and, and those revenues and dividend streams will come back to us within the portfolio. Uh, I think on the other side, in, in terms of offsets, you know, higher inflation is probably likely to drive higher real yields, that's probably likely to put a bit of pressure on valuations of some of the, the better quality companies which we have in the portfolio. So there's a bit of a balancing act between uh, these two dynamics. But over, we think over the medium term, you know, we think the portfolio is, is reasonably well positioned with companies that have got lots of pricing power, wide margins, uh, and lots of opportunities for growth to be able to manage through what's uh, going to be quite a, a challenging situation. Well, that's reassuring for investors. Nick, what's the impact of inflation on your company and how are you how are you protecting or even benefiting with shareholders are benefiting from, in, from inflation? Yes, uh, we only focus on financials and you know, financials in particular banks and to a slight ex less extent insurance companies are you know, the most sensitive sectors to rising bond yields and interest rates. So to the extent that inflation leads to you know, higher interest rates, then that's great for the sector. Um, loans reprice, margins expand for banks, and their earnings go up you know, sharply as a result. Um, the trust has about 65% of its portfolio in banks, and therefore should be a big beneficiary of, of that, those trends. Great. 